Did you know that we can now upscale directly in Ideogram? Now right here on the left hand side is the original and right here on the right hand side is the upscaled version. Now what I'm going to do is show you exactly how to do this. Now I also have this article just here which I'm also going to link down in the description in case you want to come through and have a little read. But right here it says about upscaling we can only upscale by 2x. Now if we scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page it says just here at the moment it's only possible to upscale an image by a factor of 2x. Other upscaling options may be added in the future. So right now, unfortunately, we can only upscale 2x, but fingers crossed that in the future, they are going to add more options. Now let's come over to Ideogram and let me show you step by step on how to do this. Now there's a couple of different ways that we can actually upscale our images. The first way is just by finding the image that we want to upscale, then clicking on the three dots, then coming down to upscale just here. Now doing it this way, you're only going to be able to upscale the image that you see just here. And if you know anything about Ideogram, you actually get four images with your generations. So if we click onto this, we now have the four images that we generated. And from here, we can actually choose the one that we want to upscale. If we click onto one of these, we can then come to the three dots. Then we can go to upscale just here, and it's going to upscale the image that we clicked on. Or we can actually just click on upscale right here next to the remix feature. So if we click on one of these, let's go with the cover option. Then if we click on upscale, it's then going to add prompt, which created this, which is just here. It's added it up here. It's also added the image that we want to upscale, we then actually have a couple of different options. Let's go with public. We're just going to put that on my public profile. But then we have resemblance and detail. Now, if we come back over to this article and scroll down to the parameters and resemblance just here, let's have a quick read of this so you understand this. So it says, this is the parameter that tells the AI how identical you want the enlarged image to be to the original. A value of one will give the AI more latitude to be creative with the image. This is sometimes useful for correcting certain defects or enhancing certain details. With a value of 100, the result will be as close as possible to the original image. So if we come back over to here, I want to upscale this and I want this to be pretty identical. So what we do is go on to resemblance and turn this all the way to 100. Now we also have the detail just here. So if we come back over to this little article and come down to the detail slider just here, this says this slider allows you to adjust the level of detail of the image to be enlarged. The higher the value, the more details will be visible and present. Conversely, a lower value will reduce the amount of detail. So if we take a look at this image just here, we can see the difference as the upscaled and the non-upscaled. So there is a little bit of detail there. Now I'm playing around creating coloring pages at the minute. So something like this, I don't want very much detail. So what we're going to do is drop this all the way down to 10, possibly even one. Now let's come back over to my ideogram just here. And if we scroll down past my coloring pages to my t-shirt designs, which are just here. So something like this, I'd probably want round about the same amount of detail. So on a graphic, I'd probably keep this round about 50, like so. But on my coloring pages, I don't want any more detail because this is a simple line art coloring page. So we're going to put that on one. And then to upscale this, all we want to do is click on upscale, just like this. And now this is going to go to work, upscaling this original image just here. So let's go ahead and give this a second to do its thing as well. And as you can see, it's slowly upscaling this image. And now that is done. 
So we have the original, and now we have the upscaled. So now, if we go ahead and download this, let's come on to download, let's click on PNG. Let's do the same for the upscaled version as well, just like so. Let's go ahead and open these, just like that. On the left is the original, on the right is the upscaled. So now, if we click on Inspector, we can see that the image size for the original is 1024 by 1024. If we click onto the upscale and check this, we can now see that this has been upscaled 2x and is now 2048 by 2048. Now, if we zoom in on these, we can start to see the difference. So if we zoom in like so, we can see that this is quite blurry. Now, if we zoom in on this one as well, we can see that it's not quite as blurry. Now, it's still not the best because this is still a 2x upscale. Ideally, I prefer to upscale my images at least 4x, which unfortunately, we don't have that option yet, but I'm hoping that they will add this very soon. Now, let's just zoom in twice or two more like so, so we can see this. This one, quite pixelated, quite blurry. This one, nowhere near as much. So, as you can see, even though this is only a 2x upscale, it is going to increase the quality of your designs. Now, zoomed out like this, we can't really notice that much difference. But nonetheless, that's how you can now upscale your images directly in Ideogram. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like, as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.